where news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Starting to be an icy mess out there tonight. Hopefully you are safe and not on the roads. We have said it uh, for most of the week. It is here now. An ice storm is moving across southeastern North Carolina at this hour. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I'm John Evans. I'm Francis Weller. We have team coverage tonight of this winter storm. We're tracking the latest snow and ice chance and road conditions. Let's get right to first alert meteorologist Eric Davis. And Eric, you said we're uh, still have several hours of this precipitation ahead. Oh yeah, at least several more hours. This is going to continue through much of the uh, overnight hours. And of course, the uh, question, the big hard question is precipitation type. There's a little bit of good news. It looks like we're not seeing too many reports of freezing rain at this point. So that's really good news. If you want to hold on to your power, it uh, means uh, less chance we're going to have trees uh, falling on the power lines or power lines coming down. But most of what's falling in southeastern North Carolina, particularly coastal portions of southeastern North Carolina, is still a wintry mix, mostly of sleet. That is ice pellets falling down uh, and still accumulating out there. It's still going to cause some problems on roads, still going to cause some problems on sidewalks. So we're still going to have icy problems even with the uh, sleet, particularly on surfaces. Now, it does look like uh, we're trying to get some confirmation of this, but especially up in Bladen County, it looks like we're starting to see a lot of the precipitation, particularly, say, Elizabethtown North, we're changing over to snow. At least that's what the first little digital Doppler indicates up also up into uh, portions of Duplin County and maybe even extreme western Columbus County and over to Robinson County. Some of that precipitation to sleet now changing more over to snow or it might be a mixture of snow and sleet in some of those areas and it looks like some accumulation maybe one to two inches if you're in uh, Bladen County. That's a real possibility and even near the coast we could see this event end with maybe a trace or a dusting of snow. In Wilmington we're still holding strong at 30 degrees. The temperature has not budged here in the last couple of hours. We have a north wind at 14 miles per hour giving us a feels like temperature of 20 degrees. That's another story. Bitterly cold temperatures, not only for the rest of tonight, but into your Saturday as well. Remember, first alert action day still in effect Saturday because of icy conditions. We'll have more on that coming up. All right, let's take a live look at the Isabel Holmes Bridge right now. Wilmington police advising drivers to please stay away. They say the freezing rain and ice have made the roads dangerous. The bridge tenders tell us there aren't any plans to close either this or the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. But again, Wilmington police say the Isabel Holmes Bridge right now is dangerous. There are some bridges and roads closed tonight, though. Yeah, the town of Ocean Isle Beach posting earlier tonight, friend, the Odell Williamson Bridge closed to all traffic between the mainland and the island because of ice accumulating on the bridge. It'll reopen when it is deemed safe to reopen it. City of Wilmington posting earlier the Dan Cameron Bridge. That's the bridge on I-140 across the Cape Fear River. Uh, the post called that impassable. Also saying the I-140 exit Wilmington Shalote is closed because of ice. And the MLK Parkway between Carr Avenue and downtown Wilmington also closed because of ice on that roadway. Now, WECT's Kendall McGee has traveled around New Hanover County for the past several hours. She's live now along South College Road. So what do the roads look like where you are now, Kendall? Well, John, it is frigid outside. This sleet is miserable. The trucks behind me all have really large icicles on them, as well as our car. We've been running the heat for a while, so we were able to get our doors open, but there is a pretty thick sheet of ice on most things out here. Now we were outside um, at some of these road closures a little bit earlier. Right now you're looking at video of MLK Parkway shut down at Carr Avenue. Uh, police tonight blocked it off because of the dangerous conditions. We're also seeing a handful of power outages, but nothing substantial quite yet. Power crews from the Midwest came down this week to help and groups from Western North Carolina uh, actually rolled in this afternoon, and that's in addition to our local power crews. Freezing rain is what they dread the most in terms of power outages, and it's the conditions we're seeing now and expecting to see continue overnight. The timeline of the storm has been a challenge. Linemen have been waiting since 6 a.m. to jump into action, but really the brunt of the storm shifted to much later in the day and overnight, making for what could be a challenging and dangerous response for them.
When trees are ice laden, they're not, you know, they can create a uh, possibility of, of limbs breaking, falling down. Um, it's night, the roads are challenging. So these are safety conditions we have to factor into their response. We're not gonna put them out on the roads unless it's safe to do so. But when it is, we're gonna get out there and restore power as quickly and safely as we can.